humans in the event at all times. Any unattended baggage will be removed and may be destroyed by security services. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this very special and exclusive Stepford County Railway stream. We will be starting at 20.30. That's 20.30 by the station clock, so you've got about 9 minutes. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Mind the gap. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this very special SCR comes to Dadbrow stream. We will be starting at 20.30 by the station clock on your screen, which means we have about seven minutes. Have your drinks and light refreshments ready. Stream starting in seven minutes.
Passengers are reminded that smoking is prohibited at all stations and on all train services. This includes e-cigarettes. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Stepford County Railways live stream. We will be starting in approximately two minutes. Please have your drinks, light refreshments, and all of those sorts of things ready. is a safety announcement. It is not permitted to cycle, skateboard, or rollerblade within the station building. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to apologise. The Dad Rouse stream has been delayed by approximately one and a half minutes due to the driver needing to get a drink. One and a half minutes and we will be starting. Good evening everybody, how are we all doing tonight? Welcome to another 
I say another dad rail stream, another dad rail stream, but the first stream on Stepford County Railway. Roblox game that I have been promising, promising or denying that I'm ever going to play. I'm not sure which. I've been uh, hinting at it for quite a while. So we are finally going to do some SCR, ladies and gentlemen, which is going to be an interesting experience. Adam, welcome to Dadrow, new subscriber. Fantastic. We have got 94 of you lovely people in and we haven't even started yet, which has got to be a record. So please hit that like button and subscribe. That would be awesome, as you are all doing, which is fantastic. I want to say a big thank you to Toby and the SCR community team as well for reaching out um, to me to do this. That is absolutely brilliant. So thank you very much. And I want to say a quick thank you to the Dad Round mod team as well, who are working hard in the background to keep everything running uh, on the Discord server, in the SCR server, and in the stream. Too many new subscribers. Master Yoda, welcome to the stream. And uh, I normally call them all out, but there's a lot of people joining tonight, which is fantastic. Anyway, guys, as always, before we jump into the video, all the views and opinions expressed within this video are solely my own, may not reflect those of any companies I may be employed by or associated with, and all that good stuff. So, during our stream tonight, we are going to have all the usual features. If you are new here, you won't have seen these before, so let's go through the sort of thing we're going to do. We are going to be jumping in and out of our Discord server. That's the Dadrow Discord server. There is a link to that in the description below. And we are in the live stream pictures page. So live stream pictures page. If you want to post some pictures in there, you can do, and we will try and get those up on the screen for you. We're also going to be playing our very popular game, this one. Let's play Locomotive Livery you know the Location. One. So, if you haven't seen this before, ladies and gentlemen, behind those squares is a picture. Throughout the stream, I'm going to ask you to post random numbers in the chat. We're going to pick numbers at random, reveal boxes on that grid, and it's down to you to guess the locomotive, livery, and location. You'll get the hint as we go along. It'll all come clear. So, without further ado, I think it's about time we jump into Stepford County Railway for the first time on a Dab Rail live stream. There we have it, guys. So I am playing in the DadRail private server. So everyone who's playing with me um, are very kindly chosen to join the server. And hopefully everyone's going to behave themselves, which would be fantastic. Could be an interesting stream if they don't. Um, but like I say, we do have the uh, SCR um, community team keeping an eye on things as well. So that's fantastic. Really appreciate that. Guys, I am absolutely overwhelmed at the number of new subscribers to the channel. This is absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to turn off the overlays, though. Because I think it's going to get a little a little bit annoying. <laughs> so if you are a new subscriber, thank you very much. I do really appreciate you being here. Right, let's jump in. I am actually a trainee driver in this. So if you haven't seen my videos before, then I'm Richard and I am a freight train driver in the southeast of England and a former passenger train driver. But in Stepford County Railways, I am a trainee driver. So... We're in a private server, so we have all the roles unlocked. We've got a few people playing today. Uh, Kentish Train Guy Signalling, um, Jason and Charles Guards there. We've got a couple of dispatchers and quite a few people driving. No passengers. I'm going to do some driving because that is what I do best. And because I'm a complete and utter noob at this, I don't have too much unlocked, although I do have some points. Um, but we're going to start at the very beginning with the Class 357. And a Stepford Central to Airport Central. Let's put some game audio on as well, guys, so you can hear the fantastic uh, audio in this game. So where should we spawn? Benton Depot. That seems like a good idea. So who have we got in here tonight? Southeast Trainspot, hello. Airlink, good evening. Johnny Simulator Gaming, Debt Trains, Crazy Plays, Derek Field. Adam L. Raffi, hello, welcome to the stream. Bossman364, playing SCR indeed. So guys, 357, do you know what? I've never delved, uh, until the other day when I was approached by the dev team, the uh, community team for this, I've, I've never played Roblox or touched it. My, my children play it, um, but it's not something I've ever touched before. So when I jumped in and looked at some of the models, I was really quite impressed by what they have to offer. They're, they're really pretty decent, if I'm being honest with you. Anyway... There is our map. And I'm pressing 1. This is how much of a noob I am. I'm pressing 1 to jump into cab view as if I'm playing Train Sim Classic. But it doesn't quite work like that, does it? I need to press C. So, I'm guessing most of you know how SCR works and you know what it's all about. So, let's just 
press some buttons and see what happens. I'm going to try and keep up with the chat, but there are so many of you in tonight, which is superb. Nice AWS. 30 miles an hour. Right, let's see how many times we're going to spad. Or we do the uh, the very traditional thing on a Dad Rouse stream is to have tea and biscuits with the manager. Tea and biscuits with the manager means something's gone very wrong. And this happens. So we, so we don't, don't want to be, be seeing, seeing that. The, the idea, idea is, is if that doesn't happen, we've had a good day. We've got the Kenty's train guy signalling, so who knows? He's the sort of person that would put signals back just so I can play that jingle. Okay, there's our stop car mark. Let me know if the game audio is coming through. Okay, guys, you want the volume up or down? I can do that for you. It's not a problem. So straight away, I've overrun the stop car mark. St Helens Bridge. Which is good. Stepford right, we have East. someone requesting to be and our guard. Stepford Central. Benton. Hello, person requesting to be our guard. Central. So guys, just for your um, just for your information, we are playing in the Dadrow private server. What I have done though is I've kind of opened up the private server through the Discord. Um, and it's going to remain open for anyone who wants to jump in and play. So I'm going to post a link. Um, there is a Discord Discord. There is a Discord invitation link in the description the below. 20, um, you might not get into the Stepford server during Connect. this stream. It takes Service us a little while to get people Stepford, verified. But if you want Edward to join the Discord Central. server, you're more than welcome to do so. Um, and it'd be great Benton to see you over Bridge. there. So Stepford, we are awaiting Airport door Parkway closures. And Stepford, uh, Ellsworth Airport Junction, the game volume is too loud. This train is formed of five coaches. Not a problem. We can get that down for you. Ryan's Transports Productions. This station is Benton, based off of Birmingham New Street. Press T to buzz the guard. There we go. We are off. Right, we've got a green. Where are we going? Coxley. Attention, please. B twenty forty two. Stepford Connect. Service to Stepford Central. We are off thirty. Debt trains. It's not loud at all. Welcome on board. Let me know, guys. It's very hard for me to judge sort of how the microphone levels working and sort of how the um, the game volume's coming through. So, do let me know if you want the game up or down or the mic up or down. I can I can do that for you. Benton is a nice station. It is indeed. Yeah. It's it's quite interesting as you drive along. You can sort of work out why, where the stations are based on, um, which is really nice. I think the majority of them, if not all of them, are based on real-life stations. Right, where are we going, Coxley? 0.5 miles. So, guys, I'm normally pretty fluid with streams and have a lot of banter and a lot of conversation, but I'm very new to this game. There's a lot of you in tonight. Um, so, for some reason, my nerves are through the roof <laughs> tonight. So, I've got... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of trying to wing it a little bit. So, if I sort of sound a little bit off-kilter off this evening, that's why. There's a lot going on in the background tonight with multiplayers and mods and community directors and all sorts. Lots that can go wrong. Oh, we've got it. Someone's waving at me. Hello, people. Stop. <laughs> right, we nearly overshot the platform. That's a good start. Uh, right. Let's have a look. Hello, everyone. We have a wheelchair user. We have a dispatcher as well. No, we have a director and a dispatcher. And another train. Lagging out. Brilliant. Wharton, Newton. Rocket Parade. Layton, Stepford Road. Adam or Rafa, SCR is just chill. I'd agree with that, actually. Yeah, I had a... Um, I've done a multiplayer game in the Discord server, not streaming, but just kind of um, amongst the moderators and the community managers in my Discord server. And it was just... It was really, really relaxing. I'd really enjoy it. 
We have unauthorized passenger on the roof causing a delay to the service, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I think we're good to go. Uh, I, I do apologize, wheelchair user. You're coming with us. You're coming. No, you're not. I thought you were coming for a, a ride on the roof, but you've decided not to. Let's go. Right, we're good for 100, so let's get that throttle all the way up. Golden Squid, SCR is chill until you get into the community. Yeah, I, I can imagine Golden Squid. I know online communities can be a bit of a, a difficult thing. Um, even with my Discord server, we've only got about 600 members, and it's it can be a bit of a, a nightmare to manage it sometimes. But we're not too bad. LaserJet is our dispatcher at Coxley. Thank you, LaserJet. So 104 of you lovely people in tonight, if you haven't already, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. That would be absolutely brilliant. And when we get to uh, Bodin, 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 we will play our first round of locomotive location livery. So guys, it's time to post your numbers. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. If you've not played this before, you'll soon get the hang of it. There is a 45 there. We should probably slow down. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. Stop to load passengers. Stepford East and Stepford we have our dispatcher. This train is formed of four coaches. Yeah, looks like this one's based on... I want to say this one's based on London Bridge. There we go, we're stopped. Let's get the doors open. Okay, so what happens, guys, is I pick the third number on my screen, which happens to be TR9 Train Spotting with number seven. Let's play Locomotive Location Livery. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. So I'm going to reveal what's behind box number seven. You have 10 seconds to tell me the locomotive location and livery of the picture. Here we go. What are you thinking, guys? Any ideas what that might be? Ah, North Checks Train Spotting. No, it's Reading. Officially, Charles, it's Reading. Ellsbury Junction, it's Reading. Based off of Reading. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you, everybody. There, I'm sure there is one that's based off of London Bridge in here. So, what do we reckon it is? Adam P. Trains reckons it's a 66. JBW456. Reckons it's a 67. William Newton class 455. TR9 class 68. We got 66s, 67s, 68s. Lots of love for 66s. Royal 67 says Great Western Guy. I do like this game. Benji Bogle, is it a 67? Not sure. Gregosaurus 53, I'm waiting to dispatch you at Angel Pass. Thank you very much. So once the stream's finished, guys, um, we're going to probably do about half an hour, 45 minutes on the stream. Um, because I'm having a Chinese for my dinner. <laughs> so I need to get that ordered here. We're going to do about half hour, 45 minutes. Um, but after that, I'm actually going to be jumping in the Discord server and just playing this with the voice chat on. Uh, which should be quite interesting. So if you do want to jump over there and join us, you're more than welcome to. There is an invitation link to the Discord server in the description below. How am I running so late? The timetables seem really tight. Calling at St. Helens Bridge, Stepford East, and Stepford Central. This train is formed of four. I think my stop's are getting better. Get the doors open. Richard, the train spotter, and more. You're dispatching at Stepford East. Thank you very much. Uh, CTRA1NS, Deborah, I was dispatching at Bodin. Thank you to everyone taking part in the multiplayer. It's absolutely brilliant to have you in here. There's a, there's a good lot of drivers about. We haven't actually passed that many trains yet, but there's there's quite a few drivers in. And Kentish train guy is sitting in the signalling centre just waiting to throw a signal back on me. I'm just waiting for that to happen. It's going to happen. Crazy place. The timetables are sometimes really tight. It does definitely seem that way. Debt Trains 43, I saw 67005 at Hawley today. I drove my... Tr I was on um, 66... Uh, I can never remember what number it is. Sense. It's one in the, the aggregate in industries with the name Sense on it. Um, 66 something or other. I was on that today. I took that through Hawley. 
We are awaiting door closure. Come on, there we go. Doors are closed. Two on the guard, two on the buzzer, back to the guard, and off we go. Welcome on board this Stepford Connect service to Stepford Central. The next station is St Helens Bridge. Kenton Group, bad dispatches. Ah, oh, we're speeding. We're speeding. Strike, the way to tell if an area is being signalled, there will be a small little blue dot near the signal number thing. Oh, okay. I shall remember that. So that's good advice. Thank you very much. Keep speeding. Try not to speed. So I, I think for me, the one thing this game, or the, the two things this game has got... We have another train. Hello, train. Ah, look. I told you it was going to happen. <laughs> Someone was just waiting to do that. Oh, look, look, look. Now, now, now I am left with no choice, am I? Incidentally, Dad Round Mug's available on the merch store. Always plug. Wait until the signal zone is cleared. So did that throw back because one of the signalers had thrown it back, or did that throw back because that train went in front of me? Come on, who's who's in front of me? Ah, it's only a cab length. So where are we now? We are at St Helens Bridge, which is just there. Or next stop, St Helens Bridge. Are we allowed to go? I think it's letting us go. Let's go. Next signal red, 45 speed. I can't remember which junction we're taking now. We're going off this way. Oh yeah, I guess that's gone back then because that train's passed in front of me. Almost missing the AWS. 2.7 seconds on the AWS in real life. Uh, unless you have the more modern units which have got the TPWS Mark IV and then you only get 1.8 seconds to cancel the AWS. I will um, I will unashamedly admit I have missed, failed to cancel a couple of AWSs in real life and had emergency break applications, which is, is never good, but it does happen. Four on the four. Open the doors. Doors on the right. Kenton Group it happens all the time. It's called signal tripping. Debt Train's 43, Spadbrow indeed. Funny enough, uh, Debt Train's my, my nickname at the depot, especially when the, the Railhead Treatment Train start in the season, we do the um, the leaf busting trains. My nickname is Flat Rail because I, everyone seems to think I have a habit of putting flats on locomotives, but I really don't. Or after I finished, I'd I done an interview with Francis Bourgeois a little while ago, and I used the word dynamic about... Um, about 10 times in that interview it went on TikTok and after that I, I got the name because my name's Richard I got I got the nickname Dynamic Dicky. so I've got a, I shouldn't have told you that I've got a feeling that's going to stick now <laughs> uh, Whale Gamer NL what is the private server link if you join the um, Discord server bud there's a link in the description to the Discord server below um, and what we're doing is we're kind of setting up a system there to get people into the private server because uh, obviously I think we can only have 40 people at a time in the in the server um, but if we can get a really good game going it's, it's really great obviously we are off 45 uh, Adam how do I get out of the waiting room in the discord uh, you'll need one of the moderators to manually approve you um, but they are quite Hello, person on the track. On <laughs> I should probably blow my horn. Yeah, if you are if you are joining the Discord server and you're stuck in the waiting room, I do apologise for that. The moderators are quite busy with uh, a few other bits and bobs at the moment, sorting some stuff out for me. So hopefully they'll get you in pretty soon. Right, Stepford East, next stop. We are good for 100. Shall we play a game? Post your now. Yeah, for Adam P trains dynamic decay. Noob Master 69. Hello, fellow driver. Hello, fellow driver. Hello, cab invader. 
Two yellows, ladies and gentlemen. Commentary driving. Two yellows. Get in the speed down. I do like the way the throttle brakes works in this. It's it's simple, but it's effective. Real trains don't brake quite as quickly as this. Oh, that signal there on the left almost caught me out. I was getting ready to stop at that one for a second there. Signal sighting nightmare. <laughs> we are stopped. So that little blue dot there next to the SO94, I'm guessing that means I've got um, a signaller controlling this signal. So who have we got? No, Leo's Trains. You are the third number on my screen with number 14. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. So we always go for the third number that comes up on my screen. Number 14, Leo's Trains. You getting anything from that, guys? Let me know in the chat where you think it might be. So we are one yellow red ahead, 45 into the platform. We are four cars heading for the four car mark. Now this one has to be London Bridge. This train is formed of four coaches. Hey, hello. <laughs> are we a three car train or a four car train? I think we're four. I like the avatar. I haven't done anything with my avatar yet. My avatar's a bit, a little bit uh, plain and boring. I need to do something about that. I need to maybe make some like dad rail tops or a dad rail cap or something. Yeah, I was checking how many coaches are we. I think we're four, aren't we? Um, as you can see, I'm not au fait with the camera controls on this. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Right. So what are we thinking that is? Uh, 720 Avent Aventura. Aventura. Aventra, I need glasses. 73 or 76. Rowan Play says it's a 67. Debt Train says it's a 70. Pig and Bob says it's a 67 or a 27. Great Western Guy says Colas Rail 67. Uh, crazy Place, yes, this is London Bridge. Fantastic. Debt Train, 67 in DB livery. Adam P Trains, Colas Rail Class 67. Electrostar Judge, Fishbowl just running around in his maid's outfit as you, you... What he gets up to at the weekends is no business of mine. We are uh, pride in Stepford. If he wants to run around in a maid's outfit, that's up to him. I like the gradients in this as well. I mean, the... The kind of the whole the way the, the way the whole network works with the flyovers and the different lines and everything. I, I just really like it. I think this is a really fun game to play. As far as a kind of train simulator goes, you know, I, I wouldn't say it's it's an amazing train simulator, but it's an amazing train game. Um, you know, the, the the sort of physics on the train and stuff. But I don't think that's what they're trying to be. You know, they're trying to be a multiplayer community based railway game. And I think it pulls it off brilliantly. It's such a fun game to play. I love the multiplayer aspect. I love the announcements, um, the station announcements, the on-train announcements are superb. Even kind of the big train simulators haven't got that right. So th this, this has got a lot going for it. One yellow. Where's our red? There's our red. We will shortly be arriving at. So if you're stopping at a red signal in real life, you aim to stop um, around about a loco length or a coach length away from the signal, so I'm probably a little bit close to it there. One yellow. And this is our, I believe this is our terminal station, isn't it? Stepford Central, is this where we terminate? So going into a terminal platform, if we're driving properly, guys, you want to be doing 15 at the platform ramps. That's if we're driving properly. Most most companies will say terminal stations 15 at the platform ramps. And in real life, going on to buffer stops, you'll have a uh, what's called a TPWS loop, train protection warning system. Hello, person. Hello, Mr. Boxman. That's a great avatar. I like that. Yeah, going towards the stops in real life, you have the train protection warning system, which is an automatic stop system. Um, 
the sensors for that trigger loops will be set for 10 miles an hour. So you want to be under 10 miles an hour going towards the buffer stops. Crazy Dash, hello. Welcome to the stream. Uh, without hitting the stops. This train terminates here. All change, please. All change. I think we should do another service. Northern check. Yeah, I'm going to call you Northern Check Train Spotting because I, I, can't, yeah, I can't pronounce that. The station announcer is the GWR lady. The first I heard about that, she was on Radio Two a little while ago. Funnily enough, um, and she was saying that she'd done the announcements for uh, Stepford. I hope you have a cab pass. Do you have a cab pass? Anyone with a cab pass is welcome to have a cab ride. Officially, Charles, I'm in the signalling centre above your train. Press T to begin loading. Hello, people. Welcome to my cab. <laughs> it is brilliant. Crazy place. Maybe do a, a Leighton to Lynn service. I'd do a Whitefield or Morganstown. Should we go? Should we jump out and go on a different route then? Do you reckon we should do that? Um, I need to come over here. There's a menu thing somewhere. Spawn. And then we might do a bit of conducting or something like that. Stepford Central to Leighton City. Uh, should we go one of those? Step for Central to Leighton City. Drive. Where should we start? Um, should we do Step for Depot going towards Step for Central and then we do the service out? I think that's that's probably the best thing to do. Ah, copyrighted music. That means my stream will be demonetized, which means YouTube will not give me 20p for doing this stream. Okay, two white lights. Two white lights in reality, guys. That's known as a um, shunt signal. Ground position light signal is the correct terminology. Gives us permission to proceed as far as the line is clear, preparing to stop short of any obstructions and obeying all other signals. Yeah, I haven't, um, crazy plays. I haven't got any other trains at the moment. I've only, I've only got the 357. I haven't, um, I do have some points. Should we actually, actually, oh, I'm so not used to the controls on this. Should we, should we, uh, spend some of these lovely points that I've been, um, the, uh, the community team here have been kind enough to, to give me some points. So let's. What should we do? 720? 68. What are you reckoning, guys? We, let's buy it. Let's, let's get another train. What should we do? I'm quite inclined to do a 720, if I'm being honest with you. Buy the class 444. 458. I like the 707 and the 720. Where's the 707? There's a 707. 377, 720s, 377. Yeah, I'm going to go with a 707. Let's go, with the, let's go with the 707 on this occasion. I've not driven this one at all, so uh, it will be interesting to see what it's like in comparison. So, guys, one of the questions I had about this, because as I told you, I'm a complete and utter noob. Um, time of day on here is that linked to the time of day where you are in the world um, and are there any weather effects as well I'd be interested to know that looks pretty decent I do like the step for connect livery it's very nice oh, look, I'm doing it again I'm pressing one to get in the cab oh I like that that's very nice that's a very nice model Right, we're going. We're going first. We're on, we're racing. Oh, 
This feels a little bit slower than the um, 457. Red ahead. Oh, stop. Who's signaling? We've got, well, we've got three signalers in. I'm gonna press my SG button. We did actually talk about having the, um, having the GSMR radio set up as like a voice chat, which we were gonna do. Um, Wee, thank you very much. Signal has fallen asleep. Stepford Central. 45. This actually feels much more realistic than the, um, 35357. Green in a hundred, let's go. So guys, we've still got 87 of you lovely people in tonight, which is absolutely brilliant for a um, first time SCR stream for me. So if you haven't already, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. That would be absolutely brilliant, guys. And if you do like this video, then don't forget to check out some of my other content, including my train driver vlog series. Right. One yellow, red ahead. Signaler doesn't like me today. <laughs> so we're doing this in real life. It'd be full service brake, DRA set and into neutral. Chris Hillard, at 110 miles an hour, what sort of distance would you usually allow for shutting off and braking? Presumably gradients have to be taken into consideration too. Yeah, absolutely, Chris. Gradients make uh, a massive difference. Weather conditions as well. Um, really difficult to say. Depends on what the unit is, what the braking capabilities are. Every train has to be able to stop from at full speed um, within a mile and a quarter uh, in emergency. So, sort of a service brake application. If you're you're a mile and a half out. You should be alright at that sort of speed. But yeah, the gradient does does make a huge difference. Come on, signaler. You're teasing me. Everyone's signaling. I'll kick all the signalers out of the game in a minute. I have the power. <laughs> right, while we're waiting, let's play a game. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. One yellow, platform six, thank you very much. Oh, we're going to get a guard on this usually... Oh, actually, no, 707s normally do have a guard, don't they? I think they're southwestern have guards on all their services. Hello, people! HST fan six is requesting to be guard, no worries. Wee passengers everywhere. So if we're coming towards the stops at this speed in real life, then we have trouble. I've got to do something with my avatar. Look how cool these avatars are. I definitely have to do something with mine. Oh, stopped. Oh, stopped, ladies and gentlemen. Right, third number on my screen. Leo's Trains, number four. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Here we go, guys. Number four. Ten seconds to tell me the locomotive livery and the location. Thank you for Anything there that gives the location away, that's what we need to know. That's your 10 seconds. Any ideas what that might be, guys? Any ideas? And we'll also jump in the Discord server as well and see what you lovely people have been posting. Ah, top picture on the right there, the 66. That was uh, Luke... One of our community managers took that picture. Thanks for posting that, Luke. That was me driving earlier on. Uh, no, it wasn't me driving. Actually, I was I was instructing on that train. Somebody else was driving it. But yeah, we're in the live stream pictures page on the Discord server. There's an invitation link to the Discord uh, in the description below. 
Welcome, Germany, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, to Dad Brown, new subscriber. Great to have you here, bud. Yeah, we're in the live stream pictures page. You're more than welcome to post your things in there, and we'll get them up on the screen. Guys, if you are interested in joining the Dad Brown private SCR server, if you join the Discord server, uh, once we've got everyone verified and in, we're going to be handing out... Um, we're going to sort of be giving access to the private server as we go along. As, um, try and get a good bunch of people in and keep the server busy. Makes makes for a more exciting game that way, I think. Hello. Awaiting door dispatch. I'm trying to go to the outside view, pressing number two. Muscle memory is a marvellous thing. Well, our dispatcher is doing his job, or her job, or their job. Awaiting guards buzzer. Right, let's get back in the cab. Buzzing. We're off to Stepford East. 45, green signal. Suicidal, ma suicidal person on the platform. Blowing the horn. Welcome on board this Stepford Connect service to Leighton City. Hello, other train. I'm not speeding. Give him a wave. Do train drivers wave at each other as we go past? Normally, yes. And if the driver coming does coming the other way doesn't wave back, then you inevitably think they're miserable. Hampton Hargate, Upper Stafford. Yeah, this definitely doesn't accelerate and brake as quick as the 357, which is good. It's, it's almost a little bit more realistic and challenging. I quite like it. The model looks really nice as well. Yeah, definitely. The brakes are definitely a lot slower. Hello, train coming the other way. One yellow, red ahead. I just think the dispatchers, the signalers here, just just like to check me down onto red signals. There's an Azuma. Hello, box person. I'm guessing we're probably a five car. Are we a four car or a five car? Well, the dispatch is up at the four and five mark, so we're going to stop there. Hello, who is our dispatcher? Hello, dispatcher. Hello, dispatcher, if you're in the chat. <laughs> I need to learn how to do all these kind of wavy things and everything else. I know. I never thought I'd say this, but Roblox is actually pretty cool. Please press D. What does D do? Ah, there we go. Yeah, Stepford East, St Helens Bridge, Angel Pass, Bowling, Coxley, Benton, Benton Bridge, Hampton, Hargate, Upper Staplow, Walter Newton, Rocket Parade, Leighton Step Road, and Leighton City. And we'll do the do this journey, guys, and that will be uh, us on this stream. Hello. Looks like the Francis Beaujois look that doesn't it with the jacket. <laughs> Talking of Francis, I'm on TikTok as well. I don't have much content, but I am on there. I have other social media channels. I can press the button and put those on the screen. If you if you want to, you can follow me down there. You're very welcome to do that. Right, stop successfully completed. Off we go. We are going to St. Helens Bridge. You're running very fast. That's that's pretty impressive. Welcome on board this Stepford Connect service to Leighton City. 387 over there, beautiful. Is that a 387 or a 377? Ah, they're all the same. They're all Electra stars. It doesn't matter. CP Trains, I never thought you would play this. Uh, neither did I. Um, the community directors reached out to me and asked me if I'd like to make some content on it. And... Uh, Loads of people have been asking, so that was kind of the kick up the backside that I needed to get on and do it. And uh, I wish I'd done it sooner because I'm I'm just really enjoying playing this game. It's such a fun 
Especially if you've got a good server like we've got going now and you get, there's a 45, and you get the voice chat going and everything and there's people talking to each other. Yeah, it's, it's really good. It's so all the way up to the SCOM arc. There we go. Open the doors. This train is formed of five coaches. Darkness, are you planning on making more streams on SCR? Uh, I will be doing more streams on SCR, but I'm also going to be using SCR as a like community events tool in the server. So I want to do regular um, community games on SCR where we can kind of all just hang out and chill. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to be doing some more streams on it um, as time goes on. I want to, and I said this a little while ago, I really enjoy doing streams and train sim streams, but I want to do a lot more of my train driver vlogs and my rules-based videos and stuff and get back to that sort of content. Um which is what I really like, really, really like doing. I put out two videos recently on the um, GSMR radio, and I've got I've got two videos scripted but not yet filmed because I haven't had the the time to do it. And I've got one on personal track safety PTS, um, and I've got another one on absolute blocks, a so semaphore signalling rules based videos. So I haven't had a chance to film those yet because I have um, I've got four children, hence the name Dad Rail. Three of them have no interest in trains. The fourth one does. That may have been because when he was still in the womb, I was playing Thomas the Tank Engine theme tunes to him. So I <laughs> may have influenced him a little bit. Yeah, so it's, it's quite difficult sort of setting up the green screen and having no background noise at times. So, yeah, it's... Uh, I need to kick them all out of the house and get some filming done. 45, we're running on greens. We're off to Angel Pass in 0.29 miles. Debt trains, how do I send something for locomotive location livery? You are welcome to send me a direct message on the Discord server. And you can also send them via my social media channel. Sending them via Discord is probably better, but if you're not on the Discord bud, then uh, you can send them to me via my social medias. Angel Pass. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. So I'm also going to give a big shout out to um, all my lovely Patreon supporters. Patreon.com forward slash dadro if you want to find out about that. But yeah, all the um, people that support me on Patreon, it's fantastic. It enables me to um, have Nitro to boost up the Discord server so we get better benefits over there. Um, it enables me to do stuff like buy the private server for this. Um, certain stuff I've had done made for the streams and bits and bobs. So yeah, re really does help out. So thank you very much to all my um, my Patreon supporters. Crazy plays. Have you seen any of the sneak peeks? Uh, do you mean the SCR sneak peeks? I have indeed. Yes. Yeah, debt trains. You send send me whatever you feel like, bud, and um, we'll kind of see how it gets on. Joseph Adams, indeed. Yeah, we are in Roblox. You never thought I'd see the day. Davidoff, Mumrail is very good. Thank you very much for asking. She is um, sat behind me watching something on her phone right now. Hello, Mumrail. Hi. <laughs> she says hi. Don't know if you heard that. We are off. We are off to Bodin. Welcome on board this Stepford Connect service to Leighton City. The next station is Bodin. Oh, I'm speeding. <laughs> Tea and biscuits with the manager. Rave the train spotter. Hello, welcome to the stream. Yeah, Joseph, we're doing a bit of uh, SCR today. Lots of people have asked for it, and the um, community directors at SCR reached out to me. So why not? And um, if I'm being really honest with you, I'm really enjoying it. Stop and load passengers. I'm just going to, like, trust that the dispatcher's in the right place. Yeah, we go down to the S car mark. 
Leighton, Stepford Road, and Leighton City. This that was almost a nice stop. Crazy place. I'm really hyped for the airport update to come. Richard, the train spotter, and more. This is Hello. Bowden. This train is for Leighton City. The next station is Coxley. I'm all out of drink now. Awaiting door dispatch. We oh, actually got the camera controls right as well there. Northern Transport Adventures. What happens if a person gets hit by a train and blocks the main line? Um, that is a an event that no driver wants to happen to them or nobody wants to, to witness or experience. So if you're a driver involved in that sort of incident, then you'll be pretty much relieved from duty straight away and taken for counselling and, and everything else. Then the, uh, the transport police will do what they need to do. So basically, you'll get all the trains stopped, make the line safe. Um, then the police come out and deal with the situation. Up to 100, where are we going? Coxley. Two yellows. One yellow. We better slow down because it doesn't slow down as fast as the 357. I have to remember that. One yellow again. We will shortly be arriving at Coxley. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. Service to Leighton City. Calling at Benton. Benton Bridge. Hampton. Two Harvard. to four. There's the S. Stablo, Wharton Newton. Full stop. No spad for me. Open the doors. There we go. Leighton City. This train is formed of five coaches. Crazy place. I hate that you can't check channels on live chat except you're a mod. Leighton City. The next station is. How do you mean, bud? Harry, how's it going, Richard? What is your favourite rail class, cargo and passenger? So my favourite. Um, my favourite locomotive to drive is Class 73, which I'm lucky enough to sign. Um, in terms of passenger trains, the favourite one that I've, I've had the privilege of driving would be the 395, the high-speed Javelin. Um, favourite uh, multiple unit passenger train overall, I'm probably going to go with a Voyager. I think it changes every stream. Someone asked me that every stream, and I'm sure I change my mind every stream, but I like Voyagers and Pacers. Which is always controversial, I know. Bye bye, dispatcher. Ah, thank you. <laughs> you caught me out. Welcome on board this Stanford Connect service to Leighton City. Ah, it's happened again. What was it that was called? Signal something. That is so annoying when that happens. Wait until the signal zone is cleared. Please wait. Can we go now? We're going. So we'll assume the next signal is going to be red as well. Potato Cure! Dad Rail, favourite train operating company you have driven for? Uh, I've only driven for... Well, I've only worked at one. I've driven for two. Hello, Vex. We have a train surfer, ladies and gentlemen. One yellow. Let's go, go. Red ahead. Where's the red? Can't see the red. There's the red. So that's the other thing that this game has, which a lot of the, the other train simulators don't, is a really good 
signaling system in so much that when you drive in real life you're often running on yellows reds it's, it, you know i find like with train sim world train sim classic a lot of the time it's just green 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 um and that's not particularly realistic what you've got here constantly being checked down is a lot more realistic um signaling wise than what you get in in the other games one yellow red ahead jason bushel better graphics than train sim 2022 do you know what? For a free game that you don't have to pay for, um, you can't really complain, to be perfectly honest with you. It's it's not bad at all. We will shortly be arriving at Bento. Platform 5, thank you very much. Approach controlled, very good signalling. Green slip. 30 going in, red ahead. Why am I speeding? It's cheating. Come on, come on, slow down, slow down. Alfie, Deborah, you should stream, stream the Javelin on Train Sim World 2 next time. I've done the South East and High Speed on Train Sim World 2 uh, quite a few times. I think I've done it two or three at least. Um, we haven't done it for a little while though, so yeah, we can definitely do that one again. Five and six. I think we're about four. We're going to stop there. We're on the platform. That's all that matters. Samuel Gaming, thank you very much, bud. Very generous of you. Generous of you. Good evening. Passengers are loading. Do we still have a guard on? We do have a guard on. Someone, someone's just putting the signal back in front of me. Hello, whoever you are. You keep getting in my cab. I don't know who you are, actually. We have a lot of passengers on my train. The whole kind of multiplayer model of this is it's just... It's absolutely brilliant. I really, really like it. Francis Bourgeois. <laughs> It's not. It's not the Francis, though. <laughs> oh, what's going on? I think we're gonna have, we're gonna have to remove the signalers in a minute. Uh, Hillary Tiago, you can attend trainings. Yeah, indeed. I'm I'm trainee driver at the moment. I'd like to get up to um, signaler rank. I can play as a signaler on here um, because it's a private service. You can play in any role. But it'd be good to sort of go through the ranks. Am I going to get a red because that train's going in front of me? There we go. I preempted that. I'm learning how the game works. All stop. Red ahead. Nice and slow. It's come off. That was almost quality driving, that was. That, that was Welcome almost good. So, in real life, guys, we don't we particularly like to uh, chase red signals. So, if you're running on yellows, it's good practice just to kind of hang back, reduce your speed a little bit. If you're, if you're chasing red signals and constantly approaching red signals, then you're increasing your risk of having a spad. So, um, in real life... We just hang back a little bit, let the train in front get away. Just regulate your speed. Ethan, I've been a signaler for three years, ten months now. Crazy to think. One of the things I'd like to see... Why am I stopping? We have a green. One of the things I'd like to see with signalers... I, I had a little play with signalers um, the other night. But one of the things that would be really good to see would be the ability to um, set platforms and stuff like that and set routes. So I, th I think that would add a, add a lot to the game if you could do that from a signalling perspective. Northern Transport Adventures. What happens when you spad? Um, do you mean in-game? In-game when you spad, the train kind of just stops dead... And not a lot happens in real life if you spad. You get team biscuits for your manager. 
No, in real life, if you have a spad, it depends on the um, circumstances surrounding the spad. Spad's never a good thing. Um, but with most operational incidents, the companies are interested in sort of finding out why it happened and making sure it doesn't happen again. And that's more important than um, punishing the driver. I mean, everyone's human. We come to work, we make mistakes. And they accept that. So, you know, if you're having lots of spads day after day, then they're going to start questioning your suitability for the role. But if you've been driving for a long time, you suddenly have a spad, it's going to be, you know, we've made a mistake. Why did it happen? What can we do to make sure it doesn't happen again? This train is for Leighton City. The next station is Hampton Harbour. Ethan, yeah, that would be amazing, signalling. But believe me, it's come a long way since version one. Um, yeah, I'll just definitely have to take your word for that. Look at the avatar. Oh, that is brilliant. <laughs> I've got to do something in my avatar. Love it. I feel like I want to join the party now. There is, if, if you want to traipse through some of my old streams, there is Dad Rao dancing on some of the streams. There's a TikTok with me dancing, actually. Green light. Welcome on board this step for so we're going to Hampton Hargate, Upper Stable Ho, Water Newton, Rocket Parade, Leighton, Step Road, and Leighton City. Hampton Hargate. So I'm guessing the um, people in the server that have been playing this for a long time, you must sort of, as you do with real life, get some sort of sense of route knowledge so you know what's, what stations are coming up, what speeds are coming up, where the signals are. So if you've, if you've put a lot of hours into the game, I can imagine you can get really, really good route knowledge with this. And I think if you've got the route knowledge and you know where the speeds and signals are on the stations, it's, it's a really satisfying thing. Yeah, Northern Transport Adventures. Um, anyone can download Roblox. This is Stepford County Railway. You, you can go over to um, roblox.com. Search for Stepford County Railway. Download it completely free of charge. If you mean, can you jump into the uh, the private server and play? If you join the Discord server, link in the description below. And um, We're currently getting something in place where we can um, get people into the private server. Oh, stopped. Should we have another go? Post your numbers, numbers now again. for locomotive livery location. This is Hampton Who's messaging Hargate. me? Someone's messaging me. This train is for Lake Luke. City. The next station is a <laughs> Brilliant, ladies and gentlemen. Luke, um, gave us his driving. Uh, where where are I? Oh, we've got lots of people in. Look, there. Just sent me a picture. Stuck behind my train. I do apologise, Luke. <laughs> it's uh, it's not the driver. It's the train crew. The train crew are a bit slow today. I'm I'm blaming the train crew anyway. Conductor's doing a very good job, and the dispatcher. I must say, you're all, you're all doing great. Northern Transport Adventures number eleven, but you've spammed that, so I'm 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 going to say that's you're actually only the second one. So I'm going to go, Mr. Quicko Gaming number one. Let's play locomotive livery location. Let's reveal box number one. Ten seconds to give me the locomotive location and livery. Welcome on board this Stepford Connect service to Leighton City. The next station is... Oh, I've done you over your 10 seconds. Red right ahead, red right ahead, red right ahead, red right ahead, because I'm too busy looking at game screens and not paying attention to where I'm going. And Louis is currently signalling my train. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, yeah, priority to the... Uh, look. Typical, always putting, always putting other trains in front of me. Typical, absolutely typical. <laughs> Alex the Woo says it's Houston. Class 67 Colas. 67 Colas. Railways are Cornwall, Eastley. That's an interesting one. Newbury, possibly. 67. Lots of love for the 67. Z Blocks, no worries, bud. You're very welcome to join us in the stream. One yellow. 
So like I said earlier, one yellow. We're not going to get that much speed. We're just going to hang back a little bit. Let the training front get away from us. Northern Transport Adventures. In real life, do you switch the tracks yourself for the routes? No, it's all done by the, um, the signaller. So in terms of route setting as the driver, you have nothing to do with it at all. Um, you'll get indications on signals that will tell you what route you're taking. You need to know what routes you can take. Um, but yeah, no, you don't switch it yourself. The only time you do is in depots and sidings. So if you're shunting in depots and sidings, you might have manual hand points and you have to do those yourself. But yeah, out on the main line you don't. Leo's trains, I quite agree. They shouldn't be letting depot trains out before mainline trains. Just like real life, Leo. So I drive freight trains and they're, they're always sticking passenger trains in front of me, delaying me. Red ahead. It's quite funny because when I, when I drive passenger trains, I'd get really angry at the signal and let a freight train out in, out in front of me and I had to stop them. But now I drive freight trains, you kind of see things from the... Uh, see things from a different perspective so what I tend to find now as a freight train driver is that the signal has always put stopping passenger trains in front of us and the thing is with although although it was a freight train it takes us a little while to get going once we're going and we're up to speed we're gone um, whereas with a passenger train stop start stop start stop start so inevitably we get a bit of speed up come around the corner the train in front of us stopped at the station you've got to slow down again and it's just a bit of a nightmare to be honest with you so yeah passenger trains always in the way Nathan's Railway videos. I've played this game since release almost five years ago. Migsy Studios. How hard is it to apply for a train driver and do you need experience? Uh, you can apply to become a train driver directly um, from on the street, as it were, from outside the industry. But it is better to have uh, industry experience, in my opinion. If you check out some of my other videos on the channel, I've got a few videos. Um, how to become a train driver is a good one to watch for that. And... Uh, 10 things you need to know before becoming a train driver as well. So there's there's a few videos on the channel that um, sort of kind of help you out a little bit with that. Leo's trains, when you apply to be a signal, you have to take a test. And I believe that if you let believe that if you let a 30-day depot train out for a mainline train, you fail. Oh, okay. I just I did not think I'd ever see you play SCR on Roblox. Is it it's a shock to me as well, I'm afraid. Alfie, good question. Let's say you were a four-car train and you stopped on the six-car mark. What would happen? Um, in reality, not a lot. Uh, you're going to stop on the six-car mark. You're going to open the doors. The passengers are going to have a bit of a walk and they might not be too happy. If you had it the other way round, if you had a six-car train and you stopped on the four-car mark, you've then got potential to open your doors and you've got carriages that are not on the platform that are going to be hanging out the back. You get people on their phones not looking, they hear the door alarm go off, they open the doors, walk straight out and fall flat on their faces because there's no platform there. So yeah, stopping past your stop car marks, not so much of an issue. Stopping short of it, that's potentially a big problem. Right, this is not a controlled signal. What, what have we got going on? Luke, I can see you. It's the, it's the back of my train. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, Luke. I'm I'm stuck at a red signal. I don't know what's going on. I assume I've got someone in front of me or something in front of me. I have someone running down the track. This is when we do our um. This this is this is the wrong. This is the wrong. Oh no, we got the signal. We're going. We're going. So only one yellow, so we're not going to go too fast. We're going to keep the speed nice and slow. Davy Milo, SG button, mate. Absolutely. So if you stopped at a red signal, what you want to do on your GSMR, which is the uh, radio in the cab, is press the SG button. That'll send a message to the signaller, which reminds them that you're stopped at a red signal. Nine times out of ten, they'll send a message back to you that just says wait. It doesn't say please wait or anything like that. It just says wait. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Someone's playing silly buggers with signals. Northern Transport Adventures, opinion on Pendolinos. Yeah, I like them. I'm a fan. 
Is, is there any shame in that? I'd rather have an HST. I must say. But, I, I, yeah, I don't mind Pendolinos at all. We've got a disco going on here, guys. Alright, stop now. We had, we had a nice disco going on with the signal there. Wait while the passengers are loading. Nathan's Railway videos. Once I saw a Scott Rail driver stop well in advance from the marker. He had three this coaches. Migsy Studios. What is the longest route you've done and what service? So the... So the longest route we, we routinely do um, is Tunbridge to Southampton. Um, and that is a, a freight service. And what we, we take an empty train from Tunbridge to Southampton, load it up with gypsum, uh, and then bring it back to Tunbridge. So at my depot, that's kind of the longest route we do. Z-Blocks, Richard, what do you do if there are trespassers line side? Um... Depends on the exact circumstances. If they're kind of with inside the railway boundary fence but not directly on the track and not causing an issue, then you'd probably just report that to the signaller using the yellow button, the urgent call button on the radio. However, if they're kind of right next to the track and causing a danger to themselves, you hit the big red button on the radio, um, stop your train, report it immediately. Welcome on board this Stafford Connect service. We are off. Water Newton. The then Rocket Parade, Leighton Step. I feel like I should do this properly. This train will be calling out Water Newton, Rocket Parade, Leighton Step Road, and Leighton City. This is the Stepford Connect service to Leighton City. Could have been an announcer. I could have done it. <laughs> Northern Transport Adventures, you should kick all the unqualified signalers out. Yeah, so what, what's going to happen with the um, the private server guys that we're using is we're kind of going to have a filter system in place so people that are not playing the game nicely and stuff like that will be kicked out the server and won't, won't be allowed back in it. So we're going to kind of have a sort of an approved user list, if you like. Um, that's going to that's be the end game. So we're going to have hopefully a nice, friendly, busy server where everyone's, um, everyone's playing the game. That's the aim. Whether it works like that or not is another matter. But to be fair, everyone's been pretty good tonight. It's uh, we've had a few people playing disco lights with signals, but it it's it's part of the fun of a community game, really, isn't it? It's stuff you can't do in real life. S car mark. Two yellows. Hey British Ace, how are you doing, Joe? Good to see you here. Are you a um, are you a player of of SCR or Roblox at all? Uh, Migsy Studios, Tunbridge to Southampton. Hang on, is that six Yankee two, six or four? Yeah, four Yankee one nine going to Southampton, and six Yankee eight three coming back. It is indeed. I work that service far too often. I am um, I'm next going to be on that service on Saturday next week. Off we go, guards buzzer. Maxwell, hello. You, uh, Maxwell is one of the people that has been absolutely going mad at me to play SCR for ages, and when I do decide to play it, he's away on holiday. So hello, Maxwell, and I am a noob driver. Absolutely, I'm a, I'm a trainee driver. I haven't been called a trainee driver for a long time. Sixty. Two yellows. Top secret signalling centre. Like it. <laughs> One yellow. Let's slow her down a little bit. <laughs> not SCR's not for you then, Joe. We will shortly be arriving at Rocket Parade. Please mind the gap. Between the train and the platform. Sorry, Paul Morrison, I was reading your comment there and nearly spat it. 
<laughs> which is a little bit ironic. Um, Paul Morrison, even Richard, I commented on the last stream about having my TDM interview three weeks ago. Got my job offer today. Really appreciate your videos. I really do think they're part of my success. Oh, that is so nice to hear, Paul. I really appreciate you uh, you contacting me to tell me that. That's fantastic. Good luck with the training, bud. Um, and if you need any help or anything throughout, do feel free to drop me a, a private message or uh, message me on my socials. Always happy to help if I can. Now, it's, it's really good um, to hear, you know, people are actually getting something out of the content. It, uh, you, I mean, people think I'm exaggerating when I say it, but YouTube do give me, like, you know. I'll be honest, I make about £10 a week out of YouTube. That's, some weeks it's less than that. Um, so, you know, to hear that, the, hear that the content is helping people, is it does really, really a lot to me. I like that top. Let's go round again. That I, I really like that top and the mask as well. What use? I, I've got to do something with my avatar. Look, my my avatar is. It's like so boring. I've got got to do something. Everyone is like so funky. Mine's so boring. Can I make like a dad rail top for my avatar? Is that a thing? Is that is that something you can do on Roblox? Can you make? I'm guessing you can. Looking at what other people have got there, so I'm, I'm guessing that is a thing. So how far have we got to go? We are at, uh, we've got Rocket Parade, Leighton, Step Road and Leighton City. Three more stations. Chris Hillard, the content is superb, really informative. Thank you very much, Chris. And uh, yeah, as I said earlier on in the stream, I'm, um, I've got a couple of the uh, rules videos scripted and ready to go. I'm just waiting for the, the wife and the kids to go out for the day. So, <laughs> so I've got some, uh, some time to film without kids running around in the background. Buy a Roblox fursuit. <laughs> Crazy place. We are driving ironing board seats. Northern Transport Adventures. Now would be a great time to insert an ad. We're doing ad. We're doing. We're doing unshamed plug. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do like my content, you can buy my merch. There is a link in the YouTube description below to the massively overpriced merch, but I don't have any control over how much it costs. I'm afraid. I make about a pound profit on each item. Completely open and honest with you. There we go. I don't do it for the money. I do it for the love. <laughs> or if you want to, you can support me on Patreon like these lovely people on the screen here that are the scrolling across now um, do. And that really like, does make a huge difference to me. So there we go. That That is my app done. And like and subscribe. There's an ad as well. Right, let's jump back into the game. Off we go. Oh, we have a new guard. TJH44. Are you in the chat? Say hello if you're in the chat. There's a chat going on here as well, but I'm kind of ignoring that one a little bit. The Masked Drummer 2162 is one of the most detailed games on Roblox. Love this game. I've made it to QD and Drive Express routes. I, I will be honest, this is the only Roblox game I've ever played. Um, I, I am really enjoying it. It works well with a. I think if you've got a group of you and you've got like a chat going on as well, voice chat is even better. It's just it's just a good laugh, really. Stop to load passengers. Not a bad stop. Right, we're almost coming to the end of the stream, guys, so... Post your numbers now for locomotive we'll livery location. Toby Hancock, salutations indeed. Hello, Avanti West Coast person. I have no idea who you are, but hello. Awaiting door dispatch. I think we have one more station, don't we? Oh, we have two more stations. Oh, no. Next stop, Leighton, Stepford Road. Platform two for the okay, Northern Transport Adventures. Who has not spammed it this time? <laughs> you, you have your way with number 11. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. I think you're going to get it on this one. 
I think most people have got the locomotive and the livery. Um, I think the location's a little bit tricky to get from this. You never know. Any ideas on the location, guys? So, we've got a banner repeater in front of us, which is in the um, horizontal position, which tells me that the next signal is at danger. How dare they let trains pass me? Don't they know who I am? <laughs> they do, that's why they're letting them pass me. Uh, Hello Tiago, are you going to make SCR videos? Yeah, it's funny you should say that. I, I kind of had an idea for um, a multi-perspective video on SCR. So it is possible. It is possible. Section B, one yellow. Let's get a little bit more power in. British A, 67. Crazy place, Davril, I'm dreaming that, like, in the future, we will have SCR LLL. Do you know what I think? I think if we're doing, if we're doing SCR streams. We will shortly be now, I don't know how often I'm going to be streaming SCR. Um, sort of one of, one of my primary focuses when I, I started Dad Round was something I said all along is I don't want it to become a gaming channel. Um, and I seem to be failing miserably at that at the moment. Hello, Trespasser on the line. I seem to be failing miserably at that at the moment. So I don't know how often we're going to be streaming it. But yeah, if we're streaming SCR, welcome to East Croydon, um, then I do feel like, yeah, some SCR locomotive location livery games would be a good idea. This is a really good model of East Croydon Station. It is really good. Nathan's Railway Videos. Let's make Joe play SCR. This is Joe, can we get you to play SCR? Is 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 there is there a collaboration video available there? Do you reckon we could do something? Dad Rail British Ace collaboration on SCR. Who wants that? This is due to a member of the train crew being unavailable. Oh, okay, debt trains. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why that is. I'll have to have a look into that. The Master Drummer 2162, do the players know you're an actual train driver? <laughs> yeah, I, like I said, guys, if you are new to my streams, then my name's Richard and I am a, um, I'm a freight train driver based in the southeast of England and I'm also a former passenger train driver. And um, as well as the train sim videos on my channel, the SCR videos, train sim world, train sim classic, you'll also find like train driver vlogs and um, bits and bobs like that. So let's turn the audio off before the copyright music knocks me out. So I do hope you've enjoyed this video. I certainly have. I think it's been I think it's been good fun. I've I have really really enjoyed it. It's been really relaxed and stuff, uh, which is good. Thank you very much to everyone who's been playing in the game for behaving yourselves. Mostly we've had a few disco light signals and stuff, but it's been all right. They've been a good bunch. They've been a, been a good bunch. Let's, Let's play locomotive livery location. Guys, Joe in the chat. He says perhaps the British Ace Dad Rail collab SCR. It's not a no. Joe, I said I was never going to play it, and I, I, I'm playing it and really enjoying it, so never say never. Never say never. <laughs> Guys, let's have a reveal on this then. So yeah, thank you very much to Daniel Strange UK for sending that in. Really tricky one with the location there, but that is Colas Class 67 at Carlisle. Someone says Derby there as well. That's, that's close-ish, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, um, Carlisle, that one, really, really tricky on the location. Don't think I would have got that one myself. So, what's going to happen, guys, with the uh, SCR content? I'm going to keep the um, private, the Dadrow server open for people to play on. But we're kind of going to be vetting people as they go in there. So it's, it's not something we're going to be able to moderate continuously. That's going to be really, really difficult for us to do. But what... Um, in order to get the link 
to the server because we have the link posted in the Discord server. In order to get the link, um, you're going to need to be like on an, an approved user list. So what we're hoping to do is get some people that actually want to play the game in a serious way, that want to signal, dispatch, drive, and not just muck about. So we hopefully you can get sort of server with 40 people in and 40 people that all want to play the game. So if people are causing problems and not playing it, we're going to we're going to basically withdraw permission for them to use the server, so they won't have the link to get in. And the link is something we can kind of change continuously. So the people that should have it have got it, and the people that don't want it so so yeah if you if you want to stay in the um the scr private server then play nicely and behave so yeah what you need to do if you are interested in joining that is head over to the discord server there's a invitation link in the description below um it might take a little while for us to get you into the server because it's something the mods have to do manually and we're going to be setting up a ticketing system where people can um, give us their details and we can get you the uh, get you into the um the private SCR server, and providing you're in there playing playing trains with no issues, you'll have access to that whenever you want to go in there. Uh, we might kick you out for a stream now and again, but generally speaking, that's that's kind of going to be open for, for everyone to play with. So 82 of you lovely people in at the end of this stream, which is incredible. If you haven't already, do please hit that like button and consider subscribing. That would be absolutely brilliant. I want to say a massive thank you to all my Patreons whose names are scrolling across the bottom of the screen for you right now. If you haven't already, do check out my social media channels. There are some links for you there now. I am going to order myself a Chinese, and then I'm actually going to jump into the um, voice chat on the Discord server, and I'm going to play some more SCR over there um, with the voice chat on for probably for about 20 minutes, half an hour, just to kind of uh, chill with you guys. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. It's been a really good stream, and I look forward to um, playing some more SCR in the future. That is it for me for now. Thank you very much for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Join me in the Discord. Let's play some more. <laughs> Thanks, guys.